Hi, I didn't see you there. Wait, do you want to know how to how to set a default a default kernel in your boot in your boot in your boot system on Linux? What words? So you want to set a default kernel in your Linux boot in Grub? You don't know how to how it's done? Come and check it out. So as you can see here, oh wait. Hi. So as you can see here, I have something set up, and basically we are going to use Grubby for the, for that. Okay. So we're going to use Grubby to set all of those things. There are many methods to do this, but since Grubby it's so widely available and uh, easy to use in a way, that's exactly what what we're going to do. So I have I have here some comments set up for us, so we can just carry on and and, and experiment with this. So first of all, I suggest you guys to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this to the second terminal. So you need to be root for that. And this is going to uh, this is going to make you make sure that you can list all your current available kernels that you can choose from to boot. Okay. Cool. So yeah. So I have a few here. Don't it doesn't really matter all that much uh, how many do I have or um, or what is your case? Usually, Fedora uh, sets um, keeps two kernels besides the the rescue thing in Majigi. I'll I will make a separate video showing you guys how can you uh, increase the limit of kernels it, it, he keeps. But that's for a separate video. So by default, uh, Fedora keeps two kernels available to boot. So the most recent one and the one previous to that. You may want to keep more. It's like subscribe and comment, and I'll, I'll make, I will make a separate video showing you how can you actually um, choose more or less. You can keep one. I don't know why, but you can you can keep three or four or, or more, uh, depending. So uh, before I show how 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 to progress from how 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 to progress from this, let me also tell you why would you want to choose a default kernel to be the, not the latest one. Well, the most use the most one of the examples is not always the latest is the greatest or the best for you. So sometimes you update the kernel and things may break like network cards, uh, graphics cards, and, 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 and stuff like that. So sometimes the last one is not the one you want to default, default to in every reboot. Yeah, you can manually choose another one at boot, but you need to be there, you need to select, you need to press escape or shift. So you want to set the default one to be a different one than the one it's set right now. So there are many motivations to do that. Drivers are is one one of the of the possibilities here. So I can have so this shows me I have index zero, in index one, and index two. Usually the last one is the rescue one. Leave it be. Don't touch it. And you have index zero, and you have index one, and you have two kernels. I have this this guy here. I have this guy here. And you have all the all the parameters uh, that uh, usually comes along with it, so that's cool. So you can choose one for to be the default. Next, I have I have um, a suggestion to do this, which is going to allow you to sh to see uh, which one is the current default one. And the current default one, it's this case, this guy here, six fifteen, blah 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 blah. So six fifteen three two hundred. And probably it's the, the most recent one. Yeah, it's uh, it's the most recent one, but it doesn't have to be. It looks like it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. In my case, it works fine. So uh, I just leave it be. So now you know which one is the default one currently, and you know all the available ones. If you want to get things a little bit cleaner, okay. If you want to get things a little bit cleaner, uh, you can uh, just uh, use grab to filter out. Um, which is the one you want you want to select i suggest this guy here uh, this is going to allow you to uh filter out a little bit more let me just uh, show you so this this is what you already know this graph is going to filter just by the kernel just by the kernels available and not all that jibber jabber and b1 shows before one so the one line before so you can see the indexes and you can see, um, well, it's a little bit cleaner, a cleaner output. So let me just uh, do this like this. So you can choose one of these three. Uh, I would suggest leaving the rescue alone. Don't don't touch that and let it be. 
uh, just, uh, I mean, you can choose one or the other. Let's say I want to go back to my older one. So there are many ways to do this, but I will choose that the easiest way is to go for, for, the, for the index number. Let me just add that to my note because I forgot to do that. So let's, uh, let's, uh, I have here, this, this is one way to do it. It's, it, there are other ways, but this is the one I, I suggest you guys who can specify, you can, you can do it by, uh, specifying the actual kernel name, but the set default in using the index number, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's the easiest way to do this. So let's say right now, my default one is this guy there so i want if let's say i want to choose to that to this guy here which is index one by coincidence it's exactly the same number so we would just do this hit enter and you can confirm that it's actually index index one done all on the next reboots the default one of your available ones in my case is going to be this one and that's about it so let me put back to my index index zero because that's the one i want to keep now i can just confirm and i'm back where i was so that's how you do it so let's go back to my file and check it out so this is going to allow you to list all the kernels you can filter out with that excel line uh, before so you can see the, the index number this is going to show you all without any filtering. This is going to allow you to, 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 to see which one is your current default. And this one is going to allow you to select the default kernel based on its index number. You know what's coming, right? You, you, can, you know what's coming next. I hope you found this useful. I hope I helped somebody out setting their default kernel to something else that is not the one they want because the default, the selected one is causing you problems. It's booting to some problems. The, the, your graphics card is failing because the, the graphics servers are not okay on that newer version. I mean, there are many reasons to do that. Well, like, subscribe and comment. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.